people is TV, myself, the T's, I'm with Cecil. I've got, got him for a quick two minutes. Thank <laughs> you for coming on. No way. First, pleasure, first time on the three pointers. They got the three pointers. I like the name Shame today. I know. We didn't get the three points, but yeah, man, hurting right now. I'll be honest, really hurting. It's, yeah. it's weird because I'm obviously. Talk, one talk, of, sorry, talk to on. me about the first half, though. The first half. First half was, was good, but we're all over them, mate. We, we were, but you know what it is? You need to understand when, we're going, when you're going for a title and that, you have to understand that you have to take your chances. And we, we've been saying that for, ye for years when it comes mm. to Arsenal, but yeah. when you come up against a good Villa side, if you don't take your chances, you'll get punished. The same with what happened with Liverpool and Palace the game before. Yeah. Like, they didn't take their chances, Liverpool, they got punished, they lost the game, and that's exactly what happened to us. So it started, listen, first half was, was good, we should have put them away, but we didn't. And it's funny because, listen to the fan cams, mentality, like, were the players tired? It seemed like a lot of players were really leggy today, really tired, yeah. but oh, I feel it's painful right now, bro. I should have got it done in the first half, we didn't. And Villa, in the end, if I'll be really, really deep, deeply honest, mm. And whilst I reflect in the morning, they deserve it. They deserve, they deserve their win. They, they had massive chance. They hit the post, they hit the crossbar and the post. They had so yeah. many chances. So it is what it is, but got to keep believing, man. Got to keep mm. believing. Yeah, and, and does this affect does this affect us going into Wednesday's game? 100%, against Bayern, 100%, 100%. Bayern People will say... Capitulation. You, you know well, you know already, no, I'm getting messages from everyone everywhere. But of it. course, but it's, it's not... Of course it affects you mentally, of course. With football, it's about a rhythm. It's about getting getting in stride, knowing how you know each player plays, you get into that winning mentality, you can you know how to beat teams, you know what works, you go for rhythm. When you get a little chink at, chink in that, that can derail you at times. Last season, this is the, this is match week 32. Last time match week 32 was against Liverpool, we drew, and then we drew again, we drew against West Ham, then we drew to Southampton, then we ended up losing to City. Like it was around this time. Yeah, oh, it feels like that's why it feels is, like it feels like PTSD. It feels like the same time. It is feels like the same time. It feels like PTSD. As a fan, that's what it feels like. It feels like oh no, we're going through it again. It's going to be hard if we get the win. And it's a big ask to go to Germany in, in midweek and, and beat Bayern. If we get the win, I think that kicks us back into just the, to you know believe again. Um, not and just for Champions League, but also for the league as well. But yeah. we're now relying on City and. I've relied on City before, so did Liverpool. We know what, how that story ends, so yeah, it's painful, yeah. man. Um, and can you see City obviously slipping up still? I mean, nah. do you think it's still all to play for? They got, Brighton, no? they got Brighton away. I mean, that's a tough game, but we right. went to Brighton and we just matched them 3-0. Fulham, Fulham could get could cause some problems a little as well, bit. so you never know. You just never know. That, oh, listen, I'm a football fan. I'm an Arsenal fan. It's like, I, if I didn't believe or you know yeah if I didn't believe then yeah. I just what's the point of me what's coming the what's the point of me what's doing all point? this you know what I mean so it might, be, it might be a blessing in disguise because we, we haven't done the Tottenham any favours in, in winning so maybe yeah. it might be it might have helped out we'll see <laughs> but <laughs> let's see though we'll, kill, like, we'll see but come on Arsenal please please for all of us right just... any message for Arteta <laughs> Why did you not take off Zinni at the time? It took all that brother. Listen, no, Arteta, you have to give him credit for what he's done. You have to give him credit for what he's done and the players for getting us in this position, mm. competing again. Some questionable changes today from Arteta. Yeah. Um, did he do you think he should, have, he should have just stuck with the, the first 11? Because yeah, they did normally, pretty well, didn't they? Because they we put them under a lot of pressure. Yeah, like this in the And they just caught us on the break a couple of times. They did, they but did. But we, did, we, we could have been 3 0 up. 100%. If you saw the chances, no, you know, I was there, I Trossard, saw, yeah. You know, Jesus. They were clear. Was, yeah, clear, there were decent chances. But also, there was big chances for, for Villa. This is why I'm, I'm trying to like be that and say, listen, we had chances, but they had chances as well. So, first half was 16 against, uh, for, sorry, 14 against their six. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had a few, we had a few big chances. We did have a few big chances in the first half, yeah. but we didn't put them away, and, and that's, that's, and just, that's, 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 that's what punishes you. Yeah, that's what punishes it. you, bro. So, thank, no worries, yeah, man. Thank you, Cecil, man, for joining us on the three pointers, man. Up. Listen, I, I hope. Keep believing, people. Just keep, just keep believing, man. That's it, man. Three pointers. We're out, man. Peace.